What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Look what we got here. Wait on that semi to pass. All right, we got something a little special for y'all today. Um, it's another Goldwing trike, but this one is a little special. It's got a trailer that uh, goes along with it. This one in particular is a 2010. Obviously, it is yellow. That is a lot of yellow, but it looks good. Um, this particular bike does have the 1800 um, HPMA is the chassis code on it. Um, it is an 800 or 1800, excuse me, flat six, like all tracks are. And this bike has been very well taken care of. There's not a speck of dirt on this thing. Um, start off on the front, first thing you notice. Well, them lights right there. All of the lights work. Matter of fact, I've got the key in my pocket. Let me dig the key out and I'll go ahead and kick them on for you. While we're here, I'll go ahead and show you it's got um, electronic preload adjustment. This switch here, click it on. And you light up the night. This thing has been very well taken care of. Most of the time when you come across a trike like this that some of the lights are burned out sometimes and uh, not this one let me go ahead and shut that key off okay let's see this one is a gold wing trike it does have a motor trike kit and as you can tell it is a 2010 bike it does have a 2010 motor trike kit what makes it special was it was built at Pioneer Motorcycles in Winchester. Peek in there real quick. You can see the uh, disc brakes. Probably not. It's pretty overcast today. But uh, yeah, this bike was built for a customer at Pioneer Motorcycles. Um, it included the trailer. Um, the trailer alone, when they first purchased this bike, was $5,200 new. Um, the trailer itself is a thoroughbred motorsports trailer. And it does have the uh, trailer bra on the front of it, and it is in perfect condition. There's not a rip, not a tear, not a stitch out of place. Nothing. These little specks that you see, it's dirt. That's just from where I rode it over here, but it's a very, very nice trailer, but we'll get to that in a minute. The, the bike itself is, uh, it's got a lot of goodies on it. Um, it has the comfort package. It's got heated seats and heated grips. Let me walk around on the other side here. I'm on the wrong side of the bike to show y'all that. Uh, the passenger side, they can regulate the heat for their seats independently of the front, okay? The seat is in perfect condition, perfect condition. If you've ever had a trike or a, a gold wing, you know, the seat folds forward for the passenger to get on. Sometimes these bags get a little abused and there's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with this bike or the bag. I mean, it just, in really good shape they might have had a spark plug or something in there at one point looks a little dirty but that's about it the leather is nice and soft nothing's cracked and of course the, the arms swing out of the way and you've got stowage in here this is normally the first place to actually collect dust and dirt and it <laughs> they're they're clean 
very clean there ain't a squat uh, squeak there ain't a squeal um your seat heater for the front for the rider is right here and then you've got your group heaters off to the side right here and they do work um it's about 65 degrees out today and rainy as you can tell but uh the seat heaters work the grip heaters work and the grips are actually really comfortable i'm kind of picky about my grips oh uh, let's see the trike kit um i told you that the preload adjustment was electronic and that is because the trike kit is independent it does have an independent rear suspension and it has an onboard air compressor so you can adjust your ride um, if you've ever driven a solid axle trike and then got on an independent rear trike, it is world different. Worlds different. Let's see. Um, another thing it's got is the floorboards down here. Um, they were also part of the trike kit and they also have running lights, which you've seen just a few minutes ago. The... Um, it also has working fog lights, which you also seen. I'm kind of using the cheat sheet today because there's a lot to cover on this bike. Um, it does have a fender bra set up that matches the trailer behind it. And just like the trailer behind it, it is in perfect condition. Nothing's ripped, nothing's torn. I mean, for a gold wing, especially being a 2010 model, this this bike really doesn't have any miles on it it's it's i think it had like 18,000 yeah 18,477 miles so this thing's still pretty much brand new starts without a flaw um it does have a rake kit the trunk rack which is right up here i didn't bring the stuff to wipe it down so it's got a little bit of dust on it but you can tell it's very, very clean. Um, it has Kuriak and trunk lights that are on it. I think it's a nice little accent. The armrests, uh, the passenger side armrest on this side has a little goodie. I'm going to bring both of them out. That way we can open the trunk here in a minute. But it comes with a little cup holder, so the misses are your two up rider can enjoy their drink let's see the um kuriakin boards for the passenger it does have kuriakin matching highway boards okay but the passenger boards are transformer boards what they call anyway but they can actually kick their foot up like that and stretch out just a little. Or maybe if they just have short legs. <laughs> My wife would need those. Um, it's got a set of air wings on it. And if you've ever rode a bike with these, you can pretty well attest to their functionality. If you want a lot of air, you can, almost like a wing window on an old truck, It'll funnel air and help cool you off in the summertime, or if it's a little brisk, you can close it and it'll divert the air around you. Uh, the thoroughbred trailer, moving on to the trailer, it is a thoroughbred motorsports GLT trailer, and it is built by Motor Trike with the front bra, like what we spoke about a second ago. Um, the hitch is a swivel hitch that's why it's kind of off to one side a little bit because I kind of had to turn a little sharp to get in here it's got the, the bumper across the back I like that it's a good little addition um, the trailer also has a cargo light on the inside as well as a power outlet anything that'll plug into a cigarette lighter will fit right in it no problem but uh let me 
go ahead and pop this open for you real quick. I got my helmet in here. Let's see. Locks into place, not a squeak. I kind of had to borrow a helmet. <laughs> and when it closes, pops close perfect. Then you can open this. Opens out nice. I thought there was going to be a problem with the back of this hitting the bumper, but there's not. If you see, it kind of articulates out of the way and it doesn't actually touch the bumper at all. So you don't have to worry about that bumper scratching up your paint. But the interior is in perfect condition does have a fusible link right here and there's a, a port for a socket that's right there and you do have a cargo light right here and this is on the trike itself got a little rack piece right here and right here so you can put your clothes or secure some baggage or whatever you need to have on you and it's latched well, I thought it was latched. Okay, she's latched. <laughs> All right, let me grab this key real quick and we will walk back here. And we will go ahead and open the trailer. Look how easy this thing opens. Three fingers. Look at that. Opens wide, wide, wide up. That's it fully open. And there's a lot of storage capacity with this trailer. Even has the original Thoroughbred Motorsports trailer owner's manual in here. Carpet's in very good shape. No stains, no rips, no tears. They put, the owner, they put a couple of sticky back, um, yeah, hooks. Your cargo light is right here. Got your on-off button, which I have the key, so it probably won't turn on. Yeah, you gotta have the key in the bike for it to work. That way you're not killing your battery. But inside here, let me see if I can't get it to focus here. Anyway, that is your power outlet. very hard to do this and hold a camera at the same time but see anything you can put in a cigarette lighter you can charge back here whether it be a laptop or a couple cell phones or whatever you need you could probably get one of them uh, like a little cooler or something like that and stick it off in there keep your drinks cold while you're on your tour but, and this thing runs flawlessly Sounds good. Listen to how easy this thing closes. Look at that. It's like a trunk of a car. Beautiful. Alright, let's see. Go ahead and turn the key on. Let y'all see. It is kind of overcast today. 18,477 miles. Get on here real quick because uh kind of on an incline where I'm at so I don't want it to there we go fired up no problem everything works still have your CB connectivity radio all the regular goodies. Still got your pocket over here that opens up. Got your spare keys and whatnot. You've got a locking compartment right here, which I can't show you because I've got the bike on. You need a key to open it. But uh, got your audio and communication controls right here. Cruise control and reverse. Reverse is a lifesaver if you've never pulled a trailer. <laughs> and 
and then your basic heads up display controls here. And it runs very, very well. Alrighty. Go ahead and hop up off of here real quick. And I believe that just about covers it, ladies and gentlemen. I know this is a little bit of a longer video than normal, but I mean, we had a lot to cover on this one. That paint is in A1 condition too. It, there's no flaws in this paint. Y'all know how much I like paint. Um, and it does have CB control. Like somebody tried to tie something to it right there. I'm gonna have to take that off before I take it back. Oh, never mind, I got it off. Um, which this is the CB antenna right here. But all in all, it's it's a very nice package. Um, I believe the MSRP, as it sits right now, is like somewhere in the ballpark of twenty nine thousand. Well, they got the sticker on it. Yeah. $29,000. they are selling it for $26,995. It's not bad for what you get. And this bike has a lot of life left in it. Very, very nice scooter. But I think we're fixing to get rained on again. And I don't want to let this thing get wet. So I believe I'm going to take her back now. Um, as always... If you're interested in the bike it is for sale at pioneermotorcycles.com or you can come to winchester tennessee and check them out uh, i will leave a link in the description down below that way you guys can check them out online i know they'd love your company super great people and uh if you like the video give me that thumbs up and uh, subscribe hit that little bell and it'll notify you whenever i get more videos up the riding season starting to come to an end for this year anyway so uh i'll be doing a lot more side by sides and stuff like that but anyway y'all have a blessed day i'm gonna take this bad boy back over there and uh we'll see y'all next time